Didik TV KPM Good day everyone, pupils at home. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having an amazing day. This is TVI here joining you at D-Day TV KPM. And today especially we are going to be having Success SPM 2022 for English Language. Let's get it rolling, right? Before that, let's have a look at the teacher's profile first. There you go, people at home. Without further ado, let's say hi to our beautiful, energetic teacher, Farah. Hello, oh, teacher. Hello, Tibia. How are you? I'm very good. Hope you're doing amazing as well. Thank you so I'm much for well. joining us all the way from uh, SMK Chiku Dua, Guamu San Kelantan. Yes. Without further ado, let's also introduce our lovely interpreter for today. We have Chegu Nur Ilda Kamaru Zaman from SK Pendidikan Has Langor. Without further ado, I'm sure everyone is excited, you know, pretty much excited to get to know for Success SPM 2022, English language, what are we having today, right? So, teacher, before we proceed, why not we meet the students for today? People exactly, yes. So, um, well, Tivia, everyone, so let us uh, introduce you to our pupils back here where we are collaborating, Tivia, okay. between two schools from SMK Chikudua Gomu. Musang Kelantan and from SMK Bandar Mas Kota Tinggi Johor. Wow, so we have it's a collaboration between Kelantan and Johor. Exactly. So okay. we have the first one from SMK Chiku Dua. We have Muhammad Hasif uh, Idham. So hi Muhammad Hasif Idham. Hi Hasif. All right. So how do you want me to address you, Muhammad Hasif? You can call me. Okay. All right. The second one in the house, we have Ideal Ikram. Hi, Ideal Ikram. What do you want to, me to address you, Ideal Ikram? You can call me Ideal, madam. All right. So Hi, next, Ideal. Uh -huh, we have two pupils from SMK Bandar Mas Kota Tinggi. The first in the house, we have Muhammad Faizul Akmal bin Muhammad Senin. Hi, Muhammad Faizul. Hi, Faizul. Okay. All right. So uh, what do you want me to address you, Muhammad Faizul? Faizul. Okay, all right. Faisal, so the okay. next one in the house the is Said Aiman have... bin Said Hassan. Right. All right. So what do you want me to address you, Said Aiman? Just call me Aiman. All right. Hi, Tivia. Aiman. Okay. Right. Thank you so much for joining us, mm -hmm. uh, lovely peoples. And uh, peoples at home, be ready as well to learn together with the peoples here joining us uh, through virtually. Right, teacher, for the first um, segment, what do mm -hmm. we have? I'm sure Success SPM 2022 is very important, especially for English language. Exactly. And uh, this particular segment, we're excited to learn what uh, you know, you're bringing us today. All right, Tivia. Now, girls and boys, viewers out there, knowing the fact that SPM is just around the corner within yeah. like six, seven more weeks to go. Mm -hmm. So I am focusing on these two major papers which definitely will pull their grade to perhaps strong credit mm -hmm. or a solid A or an A+. Plus. So we will be focusing on speaking. Right. Yeah, that will give them the first 25% out mm -hmm. of the 100% overall. To stand a higher chance, you exactly, know, exactly, TVR. to excel in their exam. Yes, All right. so shall I proceed? Yes, please. Okay, so girls and boys, viewers out there, we're going to start with speaking. So these are the four things that everyone needs to be aware of. So let me just go straight to all these four crucial elements. Now, the first one will be time. Well, girls and boys, you need to have two seconds for you to answer or to um, address questions on close-ended questions and together with open-ended questions. Now, Tivia, for speaking, we have two different questions for part two. I'm focusing on part two, where that will be our individual long run. Now, the second part is everyone needs to understand the keywords. When you read the question, you read your script, you need to look for the keywords. Yeah. 
and definitely you need to generate your ideas and not to forget adding in your spices your salt and pepper i always say that to my students which are your language expressions your linking words as well as your sentence connectors plus conjunction so now let us begin with our part two individual long run now first of all you need to make sure you need to identify which is which which one is open-ended question and which one is close-ended question so tivia the difference between the first two questions and the last two questions mm -hmm. which undoubtedly undoubtedly be the difference of open-ended and close-ended questions mm -hmm. now the first two questions are very direct straightforward which means your answers should also be direct and straightforward without elaborations so the next one is to be able to identify these two different sets of questions and of course you need to like what i said earlier for the question one and question two you need to give a very direct and short answers but it is different with question three and four where the high proficiency learners and the low proficiency learners you have two different approaches mm -hmm. uh, Tivia. Mm -hmm. now the the high proficiency learners you can give two sentences mm -hmm. but the low proficiency learners you might as well just give one sentence instead of nothing at all right, all right? so I, I like how you thoroughly explain each question exactly you know? to get them to understand how, what they can do about the yes. each questions, right? And the best part, do not take advantage of speaking paper mm -hmm. because you can never see the wonders that you can get if you score this 25% yeah. easily. All yeah, right? Just okay, like now. that. <laughs> exactly. So girls and boys, of course, you know me, Madam Faraliza will never go away without my mom, yeah. which is your colors. Because Tivia always tell that to yourself, your mindset, yeah. people. It's all about ideas and your ideas come from these colors. Right. So let me just shortly, briefly explain to you about the colors. So this is mom, mix or match, where your ideas, people, come from your colors. Remember that forever. So the first color is white, which is true story. The second color is yellow, that is positivity. The third color is white, uh, sorry, uh, black, that is uh, challenges and disadvantages. And the next color is green, mm -hmm. that is to give ideas and suggestions. Your red color is uh, to emotions. give emotions. And of course, the last color is blue which is to give conclusion so this is actually um black color for negativity all right now for a uh, green color always remember to use your model verb in between okay so now okay. let me just give you a very quick briefly explanation and example now let's say we're going to use two colors all right so two colors make one good sentence all right okay so you can add in your conjunctions, linking words, as well as your sentence connectors. So this is a very simple example. My favorite spot. Sounds familiar? I'm sure most of you have got that question during your trial SPM recently, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> so you took this from the trial Who knows? Exam. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So let's say my favorite spot. So the first idea will be uh, yellow. That is positive. Mm -hmm. And the second color will be green. So what happens if you combine these two colors? This is what is going to happen. So I'm going to take my keywords, makes me fit and healthy, and can create new healthy behavior. And this is your linking words and conjunction. And this is your final sentence that will be delivered by you during your speaking test. Playing badminton on weekends makes me fit and healthy where I can create my new health behavior as a routine. All right, so now this will be um, roughly what you are going through uh, during your speaking exam. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to focus on grammar, vocabulary and competency. So as you see on the slide I've shown you, you have to start the first sentence with LE. And if you wish to have the second sentence, please begin with your cohesive device because that gives you marks for your vocab, grammar and competency. So now, let us look at these two pairs, because Tivia, I'm going to have two pairs here. Okay. So we're going to have pair one and pair two. Okay. So these are the reminders that they should be aware of. Okay. okay? So now, I'm going to give you an, a simple example. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, who is your best friend? And the second question will also be a close-ended question. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it requires short answers. Mm -hmm. So question three, question four requires elaborations, maybe okay. more than one sentence. Okay. okay, now let us go straight 
to our question here, people. Now, example of two colors where it makes you give you one sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, without any further ado, let us proceed to our first pair. Now, right. our first pair here will be between Faisal and Hasif. All right, so let me pair them. I'm, I'm going to the, pair them. Combining different schools, yes, right? Yes, from one is from Johor and one is from right, Hasid. Okay. One from Kelantan. Okay, so the first pair, if you guys are ready, show me double thumbs up. So people's ready? <laughs> okay, so let okay. us look at the first question. Which one is more important, health or wealth? So this is about idea of health and wealth, Tivia. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you need to do is to look at the keywords. So these will be the keywords of your question. So now, will it be Faisal or will it be Hasif? Anyone wants to give it a shot? Faisal or Hasif? Can I give a shot with them? Yes, okay, Faisal. What kind of question is this, Faisal? Close-ended question, Mina. Close-ended question means it's a direct and with a short answer. Mm -hmm. So how do you answer this question, Faisal? Health is more important. See? Health is more important, short, Very short. and precise. Very yep. good, Faisal. Very direct now, as well. Now, it seems that Hasif has to answer the second one. Mm -hmm. Hasif, what kind of question is this, Hasif, for your question two? Can wealth buy health or the other way around? So what is the keyword? The keyword is, can wealth buy health? So Hasif, what kind of question is this, Hasif? Closer. Close-ended yeah, question, madam. Close-ended question. So how do you answer this, Hasif? We, I choose health by wealth. All right. So um, Hasif chose mm -hmm. health by wealth. So they can yeah. decide whatever answers as they wish. Yep. Now, let us proceed to the third question. So uh, let me have Faisal. Yeah. So Faisal, look at the third question. How can one maintain his or her health? Now, before that, Faisal, what kind of question is this, Faisal? Open-ended question, madam. All right. So over to you. How would you answer this question? Bring it on, Faisal. Personally, I think choosing low-fat dairy product and limit-added sugar drink mm -hmm. can maintain our health. All right. Besides that, it can reduce alcohol and caffeine intake and schedule regular checkup will also maintain our health. All right. So, Tivia, if you see mm -hmm. what Faisal did, he actually had two sentences. Yeah. But it's not compulsory for students to have two sentences. Okay. So, it depends on their level. Mm -hmm. So, if they want to end up with only one sentence, up to them. All Even right. if it's an open-ended question, if it's just one sentence, it's, it's okay. Fine. Now, All this right. goes to the low proficiency learners. Okay. All right. So, now, Hasif, can you please answer the last question, Hasif? Suggest ways to properly manage one's health. Okay, Hasif, what kind of question is this, Hasif? Open-ended question, madam. All right, answer me. How would you address this question? Over to you, Hasif. Personally, I believe we can do online business and we can become a famous YouTuber. All right. So, Hasif only had one sentence. Yeah. So, it's okay. Better than nothing. Mm -hmm. So, good. So, now, let us proceed to the second pair, which is between Ayman and Aidil. Okay. So, the topic will be different, definitely. Mm -hmm. And let us look at the next question. All right? Okay. Ha, Ayman and Aidil, if you are ready, show me double thumbs up. People's ready? Okay. Right, the All right. So, let's ready. bring it on. So, it, this is between Ayman and Aidil. So, who wish to answer the first question that is on modern inventions? Name a few things you would consider as modern inventions. Anyone in the house? Madam, can I try? Okay, Aidil. So, first, what kind of question is this, Aidil? Close-ended question, madam. All right, so bring it on. Short and precise answer. What is your answer, Aidil? The modern inventions are washing machine, rice cooker, and microwave. Exactly. From the keyword, a few things. As long as they have more than one, it's yep. good enough. Yep. So, that's a very good and precise answer. Good mm -hmm. job, Aidil. So, now, let's go to the second question that goes to Ayman. So, Ayman, what kind of question is this, Ayman? Close. Ended question, madam. All right. So, how would you address this question? Give it out to me. What's your answer, Ayman? The modern invention at home are vacuum cleaner and water jet pump. Vacuum cleaner and water jet pump. And precisely focusing at home. Yep. Some students, Tivia, they tend mm -hmm. not to understand the question and they got like themselves carried out from mm -hmm. the track. 
Because as I see, the first two questions is very precise. Yes, so as long as one is generally, answer. second is mm -hmm. focusing at home. Yeah. All right, so let me have Ideal to answer the third question, Ideal. What could be one advantage of these modern inventions? Over to you, Ideal. So this is definitely a close-ended question. What is your answer, Ideal? The truth is that one advantage of this modern invention is it helps save time. Short and precise, one yes. sentence, still good. All right, and remember, pupils, when you look at the word one advantage, do not give me more than one mm -hmm. because it clearly shows that you are not focused. Mm -hmm. All right, now, good idea. Now, last but not least is Aiman. What could be one disadvantage of these modern inventions? How would you address this answer, this question, Aiman? Personally, I believe. One disadvantage of this modern invention mm -hmm. is we will become we will become a coach potato. Coach potato. Because mm -hmm. we do not make a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we do not know how to manage our time, and we wrongly use modern technology invention. Okay, Tivia, if you okay. notice, girls and boys viewers out there, what is the difference between um, Ideal's answer and Ayman's answer? Ayman had two sentences and Ideal had one sentence. So the choice is yours. It is all about the time because Tivia, each pair, they need to spend at least one and a half minute for each pupil. All right? So okay. I think that's about it all for right. our two different sets of questions mm -hmm. from our speaking part two. So I guess, Tivia, All we right. should always remember mm -hmm. that the time is very important okay. and it is all about colours. Right. So always remember, one sentence, two colours. I always do this to my students, Tivia. Okay. <laughs> it's like the antenna, All the right. antenna to give ideas. People at home are going to be remembering the colours and as well as the importance of noticing the questions exactly. that you're going to be answering according to the time that you have. All right, peoples at home and everyone, please um, grab that, okay? Grab that, digest that, and we are going to be going for a very short commercial break and come back to learn and understand more about the speaking uh, that we are discussing. Right, so let's cheer. G double O D J O B. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, we'll be back. Okay. DJ TV KPM. Dare to speak. That's pretty much what we're doing today together with Success SPM 2022 for English language. And before we get it rolling, and I just want to ask pupils, are you ready uh, for our second uh, segment? Right, so Hasif, Ikram, Ayman, Faizul, are you guys ready, pupils? All good? Ready. <laughs> Already. <laughs> because the next challenge the teacher is going to be bringing us uh, into is about speaking, right? It's pretty much important because as what we mentioned earlier, uh, speaking may be 25%, but if you excel in it, it could, you know, it could bring you very far. All right, teacher, madam, please tell us. Uh, we have teacher Faralija joining us all the way okay. from Kelantan. Okay. So please tell us for this particular segment uh, together with the pupils what we have. All right, Tivia, thank you. So, girls and boys, viewers out there, let me just proceed you to the next speaking part, which is the most challenging section ever. <laughs> but if only you guys know how easy it is to tackle this section, you'll make wonders, trust me. So, Tivia, okay. for the next part, we're going to focus on discussion mm -hmm. where we are going to swap our partners and we have different pairs now. Okay. Right? So, girls and boys, always remember when it comes to discussion, these are the four crucial things that you have to be aware of. Number one, you need to have 20 seconds to make their choices. Mm -hmm. So, they will be able to discuss and 20 seconds will be just like that. Okay. So, that's why you need to practice with mm -hmm. your partner as early as last year not this year <laughs> but you still have time to practice and to create that chemistry mm -hmm. with your partner now okay. tivia when it comes to discussion or mm -hmm. speaking ex uh, exam okay. now they need to be paired based on their level okay. they have to be at the same level why because we do not want to jeopardize their future mm -hmm. because by the end of the day remember girls and boys you might be able to answer the bonus question and the bonus question tivia mm -hmm. is not meant to all it is mm -hmm. only 
meant for those who deserve to get it. Okay. And what is the criteria? Whether you guys are able to achieve B2 level throughout your uh, part one, part two, and part three. Okay. So now, the second part is, of course, you need to discuss, and discussion takes only two minutes. Two minutes for you to discuss, people. Two minutes. Just two minutes. And you need to choose at least two content. And how are you going to do that? Focus, fasten your seatbelt, and listen carefully. Today might be the day, the best turning point for you. Mm -hmm. Better late than never. All mm -hmm. right? So you have one minute to make the best decision. Okay. So all in three minutes. So the next part is, of course, they need to explain their choices with reasons. Mm -hmm. After all, you'll be tested on your competency. Later, I'll explain to you what competency means. And last but not least, you have one minute to make the best choice with reasons. Okay. All right. Now, let's choose and explain. Okay. So again, I'm going to go this one briefly mm -hmm. so that you guys, those who just join in, please master this magical technique. We have six colors. Mm -hmm. So very quickly, white color is for true story. Yellow is positivity. Black is for challenges. Green is for giving ideas. Red is for feelings. And blue is for your conclusion. All right. So these are the steps, Stevia. Okay. First step is you need to choose two to three contents. Mm -hmm. Step two, you need to have at least 15 seconds. Seriously, madam, 15 seconds? Yep. So One for sentence. teachers out there, this is a reminder also. I would just like to suggest all teachers to have that stopwatch or bell next mm -hmm. to you so that the students will be like focused mm -hmm. and they will not be distracted. Okay. So they will like keep on giving ideas within the time frame. So two sentences require 30 seconds. Because so, the more we practice according to the time, it the will be easier. natural flow. Correct. The easier also for people. So people at home, make sure you you time yourself and take note as well as you as we go exactly. along the lesson. Easier for you to understand as well. Exactly, Tivia. So step three is of course they need to have the difference of high proficiency and low proficiency. Uh, Tivia, mm -hmm. just um, no offense. Okay. I have to separate these two different levels because it is all about you. Mm -hmm. So do not assume that, oh, madam, I'm from the end class, so I cannot speak English. So this is where you should start. Mm -hmm. One sentence with two colors. Okay. All right. So do not um, like double standard your own true self. Mm -hmm. All right. So low proficiency, one content, one sentence. High proficiency, two sentences. It doesn't matter. What matters is that speak speaking. Yeah, you need to speak, to speak. Yeah. Exactly. And last but not least, when it comes to making the best decisions and making the best choice, you have to create that repertoire of, um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's like passing baton to your partner. Okay. Okay. So now, these are the requirements that I already mentioned earlier. So let me just stop at the first sentence. Now, first sentence, you need to start with LE. Trivia. Mm -hmm. Why? Because LE will actually um, protect you not to be seen of your own weaknesses. Okay. So having language expression makes you sound so much very high proficiency. <sighs> wow, you know? is that I'm good wow at factor. this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, so factor, yes. your second sentence will also be. You need to begin with your cohesive device. After all, it's all about your vocab, grammar, and competency, people. And the last part, you look there, I have already shared you on the screen. LE stands for language expression, CD is cohesive device, LW is your linking words, and SC is your sentence connectors. Okay. So, well, make sure partners, pairs, group members, you need to have your dynamic, what is dynamic, Tivia? Your voice projection, it has to be loud okay. and clear, mm -hmm. with energetic and liveliness. And the pace has to be not too fast, not too slow, it's just like, Chill, chill. Just like, yeah, yeah, like normal conversation, chatting okay. at the coffee shop mm -hmm. in English. <laughs> so you need to create lively discussion and giving great input. Okay. okay, so now let us proceed to the next part of the question. So we're going to have pair one. We're going to switch the pair. We're going to have um, later, we have two different pairs. Mm -hmm. Pair one, high proficiency. I simply put them into two different levels, Tivia, okay. so that the viewers can see the difference of how mm -hmm. they give their response. Okay. Right? Okay, so look at the first pair. They have to give reasons with two sentences, and they need to have cohesive device in between. But for the second pair, they have to only give one sentence. So okay. let us all begin. 
Alright. So this Pimples. is the topic, disadvantages of cyberbullying. Guys, mm. are you ready? If you guys are ready, show me double thumbs up. Pupils ready? I'm right. going to show double thumbs and up for pupils. And shout to me. Bring it on, madam. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it shout. Bring it on, madam. Okay. <laughs> All right. They're still there. They're still there. All Very right. cute. <laughs> okay. So now, let me have the first pair that represents uh, high proficiency learners. That will be Faisal and also Ideal. All right. So, Faisal and Ideal will be discussing about disadvantages of cyberbullying. So, I'll give you some time for you to discuss about it. Okay. And you can start discussing now. Over to you. The floor is yours. All right. You may start now. Okay, Ideal. I will choose mental health issues and depression. Okay, Faisal. I will choose causes trauma and causes sleeping problem. All right. And your discussion begins now. Over to you. Let me begin our discussion. Well, on disadvantages of cyberbullying, my first choice is mental health issues. Mm -hmm. This is because it is one of the causes to high blood pressure and leads to overthinking. Besides that, it causes high anxiety and anger despite it leads to stigma and negative public attitude. What say you, Ideal? I totally agree with you, Faisal. However, my choice will be causes trauma. It is because they are afraid to meet people and it is because of verbal abuse. Okay. Besides that, other people make fun of them and lose their confidence. What's your next choice, Faisal? Wow, you are on point, Ideal. Mm -hmm. But don't you think depression is also important? I feel that it is because we do not get restful sleep and cannot overcome syrup. Moreover, the victim will also commit suicide. He said it will also create self-conflict. What do you think, Ideal? I could not agree more with you, Faisal. But on my second talk, causes sleeping problem should also be considered. This is because they get stressful and they think too much of the conflict. All right. So that was the end of the discussion. Mm -hmm. So Tivia, obviously mm -hmm. you could see that they had two sentences of each. Yep. So now, this is the time for you to make the best choice. Mm -hmm. So over to you. The floor is yours. Well, after this healthy discussion, I strongly believe that the best choice on these advantages of cyberbully is causes trauma. Mm -hmm. It is because teenagers need a peaceful life and do not need to be under trauma. What say you, Faisal? Wow, you are on point, Ideal. I absolutely agree with you. As I see it, causes trauma also causes by verbal abuse and do not get attention. I'm done. All right. So that's how they are going to end their discussion. Mm -hmm. But just to give a very uh, short review of what they did. So Faisal, can you give me one sentence of your two VAs? Because I need to write it down. Can you give me your first choice just now, Faisal? What Faisal? was your first choice? What was your first choice just now, Faisal? Causes to hide back pressure. All right. Yeah. So what was your VA, Faisal? The first VA. Causes... Hi. To hide blood pressure. Okay, what was your second blood one, pressure. Faisal? Leads to overthinking. Leads to overthinking. Now, Think. so can you see, girls and boys, how Faisal had his two colors and he combined and make it into one sentence. Okay, now let's go to the second pair, which is our, which represents low proficiency learners between Ayman and also Hasif. So, Ayman, Ayman and, and Hasif. Hasif. So your discussion starts now. You may make your choices. Over to you. Okay, Hasif. I will choose depression and cause high anxiety. Okay. Okay, Ayman, I will choose causes trauma and low self-esteem. All right, your discussion starts now. Over to you. Let me begin our discussion. The fact is that my first choice is depression 
This is because we let self motivation and we do not know what to expect. What say you, Hasif? You absolutely true, Aiman. My nature is low, low self esteem. This because they get body shaming and bad negative vibes. What do you say, Aiman? I totally agree with you, Hasif. However, my second choice is cause high anxiety. This is because we lack communication and we have more negative feedbacks. What say you, Hasif? I totally agree with you, Aiman. My second choice is causes trauma. This is because it causes emotional breakdown and it causes less negative effect. What do you think, Aiman? I totally agree with you, Asif. All right. So, can you see the difference between the first pair and the second pair? Mm -hmm. So, Aiman and Hasif, they only had only one sentence. Mm -hmm. But that's good because only one sentence gives you two colors and it makes sense. Yeah. So, now, we have come to the decision making. Over to you, making the best choice. Madam, can I try? Okay, Hasif. What is your best choice, Hasif? You have to decide. Personally, I believe the best choice causes trauma. Okay. It is because it makes us lose confidence and be more stressed. What do you think, Aiman? I totally agree with you, Hasif. All right. Okay. Okay, they have come to a conclusion. Uh, okay. Right, madam? Yes. Right. So they have already come to their conclusion mm -hmm. and you can see how they combine two colors and girls and boys, please take note on this. This is very important. Never judge yourself. I'm not good because you could actually see what I, Ayman and also Hasif did mm -hmm. and you can be as good as them or even better than them. Okay. Just remember, in one sentence, you need to have two VAs and just combining them. And if you listened what Hasif and also Aidil, Faisal and also um, uh, Ayman, they started with their L-E, C-D, L-E, C-D, L-E, all right? So, what are you guys waiting for? It's your choice to change your future. So, I wish you all the best of luck for your speaking paper because 25% will help you to boost up your language and you will never be surprised to see your A coming to you awesome. in no time. Right, keeping <laughs> that A in mind, people at home, I think Madam just run us through a quick and brief, uh, easier way, I would say, to, to help us to boost the mark in that sense. All right, thank exactly. you so much, uh, Teacher Faraliza. We're going to be taking a very short break and we're going to be coming back to understand and learn a little bit more about speaking assessment together with teacher. We'll be back. Let's cheer, let's cheer, guys. Cheer. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good yeah, job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> okay. Right, we'll See be you. back. <laughs> DD TV. KPM. Hello pupils and today together we are looking into success SPM 2022 for English language. Dare to speak. Speaking assessments what we are thoroughly discussing together with teacher Farah Liza from all the way from Kelantan. So hello teacher, welcome back. Hello, and I'm sure you have a lot more things to you know blow our minds, right? Exactly. In regards <laughs> to this segment. So please tell us and uh, I see a lot of, a lot more VAs are here. So exactly. please tell me what we have. All right, thank you, Tivia. Now let me start with VA. What is VA? VA <laughs> will be your keywords for you to construct your sentences. Mm -hmm. All right. So our so next V stands for verb. Right? Verb A is for agreement. Okay. So you don't bring essays 
in here, you bring keywords okay. because from the keywords you can write. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Tivia, we are going to focus on our next segment, which is mm -hmm. on writing. Okay. Now, why did I start with speaking? Because the technique that you used using your colors can also be applied in your writing. Mm -hmm. So, can you see how the game plays? <laughs> All right. Uh, teacher okay. Paraza has a very nice uh, game plan for that <laughs> for All pupils. Right. Okay, so girls and boys, now we are going to focus on our. Uh, writing that is of course everyone must be aware and familiar with your marking criteria <laughs> so that is your content five marks easy PJ for part one part two but a little bit tough for part three yeah because part three content you cannot just be touch and go guys it has to be explained in detail mm -hmm. all right and how detail is that you have got the answer all okay. right now the next one is communicative achievement tivia okay. so communicative achievement is basically literally focusing on how you link the ideas and the tone mm -hmm. if you link the ideas well you will definitely have the right tone of writing and of okay. course your organization which requires you to have a numbers of cohesive device linking words Sentence connectors, conjunction. Now, can you see how all these characters play? Mm -hmm. And that gives you a high marks for organization. Okay. And last but not least, the only difficult part for candidates to get five mm -hmm. is always forever language. Mm -hmm. But don't remember, don't forget, and don't be afraid. If you can't score language, you have other parts to score. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay, yeah. so now this is the whole picture of how your mind works. Look at that. Do you have the same playground in your mind when it comes to writing? You've got that answer to yourself. So this is how the thinking process works, Divya. Okay. Right? So let me just give them a very short, simple example of how the grow, growing process works. So right. this colourful mind map is going to be happening in our mind as Exactly, well, right? exactly. You have to be colourful and lively, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so now, um, so I will explain to you the, the process of how you generate your ideas, okay? Now, let me just give you an example. Now, let's say our situation is on a happy family holiday. School holidays, right? Okay, so now the task is suggestions on the activities. Now, let us look at the first step where you need to write the question in the bubble mm -hmm. to draft your essay. Mm -hmm. Tivia, okay. I always focus my students to draft before you write. Okay. Okay. So the first thing is you need to write the question in the bubble. Mm -hmm. So why do I go for my holiday? Mm -hmm. Why? So then you will have your answer that comes from your mom. What was your mom just now? Huh? Ah. Mix or match. Your six colors, people. Yeah. All right. So when you have your question, you will have your answer. And T stands for top Topic sentence, Tivia. Okay. All right. So, what is our three answers? So, mm -hmm. this is it. So, look at how we answer the question. One question has three answers. Mm -hmm. So, the first answer treasures my quality time with family. Okay. The second answer with green color with model verb can create positive memories. And the last one keeps us emotionally closer to each other. So, when you have all these three colors, only for topic sentence, read my lips only for topic sentence you have three colors okay. but e1 e2 e3 c only has two colors all right okay. so now we are going to go to how we generate ideas for our c because that is quite difficult mm -hmm. okay now this is c1 mm -hmm. and this is your e1 mm -hmm. okay so let me just explain to you how all right so e1 grows c1 and you're going to use question why so the question is, all right, why do you need to treasure quality time with your family? And the answer is, can reward myself. And can you see that, Tidia? We have yeah. to plus one more mm -hmm. because you need two colors in one sentence, people. Mm -hmm. Come on, get this energy. It's mm -hmm. simple as that. All right, so okay. now let's go very quickly. So this will be your C1 and that will be your C. Now, Tivia, what mm -hmm. is C? C is to conclude your paragraph. Mm -hmm. You need to end what you have started in your first sentence, people, so that you will not be monotonous, having this boring writing. All right? Okay. So, if C1, what will happen? So, what was our C1, Tivia? Our C1 was... What was our C1 just now? So, you have to look at your C1 and your C will have to answer 
what will happen next. Okay. So without any further delay, let us proceed to our question. Write to us about the importance of staying fit and healthy for teenagers and the advantages of staying fit and healthy. What are some ways to live healthily? So girls and boys, are you guys ready, boys? Faisal, Aidil, Ayman and Hasif, if you guys are ready, shout to me. Bring it on, madam! Bring it on, madam. <laughs> okay, people, so, are, people now, are all ready. Let us begin. Yes. So, before we start, we have to write the question in the bubble. Mm -hmm. Alright, like, well, like, just like what I said earlier. So, who wants to give it a shot? What will be the best question on the situation, getting ourselves fit and healthy? Who wants to give it a try? Anyone? Madam, can I answer? Okay, Ayman. Ayman. So, what is the question that you should put here to begin our draft, Ayman? What are the benefits of staying fit and healthy? Allah. What are the, what are the benefits? benefits? Okay. Of staying, staying fit and healthy. Fit and healthy. Okay. Don't don't be afraid of making grammar mistakes when you write the question. Because the examiner doesn't see the question, <laughs> Tidia. Yeah, they only they see, the, see the answers. Okay. So just go with the flow using your own ideas. Good mm -hmm. job, Ayman. So now, this is the question. So this is your answer. We have three colors here. So who wants to give it a shot of your first answer? Come on, bring it on. People, let's go. Who wants to give Madam, it a shot? Can I try? Okay, Hasi. So what is your first answer to this one question? I choose... Yellow color. Yellow is positivity. Okay. Okay. Continue. My way is increase new health behavior. Increase new health behavior. Very good, Hasif. Okay, so this is yellow color, people. All right, now let's go to the second color, which is green. So anyone wants to give it a shot? Anyone? Can I give a shot, madam? All right, Faisal. Okay, Faisal, what's your green answer to this one question, Faisal? My VA is can allow new ways of diet. Can, can allow new ways of diet. Okay, good job. So you have your model verb here, people. All right, so next we have the last answer to this question. Who wants to give it a shot? Madam, can I try? Okay, ideal. What's your color choice, ideal? I choose green color. Okay, green it is. So, what is your VA, ideal? My VA is can monitor our health progress. Can monitor our health progress. Okay, so this is your model verb, people. Good job. So, that has completed our first topic sentence okay all right so now let's go to our e1 mm -hmm. so follow me guys e1 follow me e1 e1 c1 c1 all right so who wants to give it a shot how would you grow your e1 your second sentence go Madam, can i give it a shot okay ayman so what's your question ayman what's your choice why what or how my choice is why what so, what is your question, Ayman? Why, madam? Why? Why or what? Why. Why? Why? Okay, so what's your question? Why increase new health behavior? So, why increase new health behavior? Mm -hmm. So, where do you write the answer, Tivia? You write it here. E1. So, what's your answer, Ayman? Bring it on. Develop positive habits. Very good. Develop positive habits. Spot on, Ayman. Okay, so now let's go to the third sentence. That is E2. Mm -hmm. So follow me, guys. E2. 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 Grows C2. C2. Grows C2. So who wants to give it a shot? Over to you. Anyone? Madam, can I try? Okay, ideal. What's your question, ideal? Why, what, or how? My choice is how. Okay, so question. How? Give me the question. How to allow new ways of diet. How to allow new ways of diet. Okay, what's your answer, Ideal? Choose low-fat dairy products. Alright, so choose low 
fat dairy product so that answers the question obviously good job ideal so now let's go to our fourth sentence mm -hmm. follow me guys e3 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 gross C3. Grow C3. Alright, who wants to give it a shot? Who wants to grow E3? Can I give a shot with them? Okay, Faisal. So what's your choice? Why? What or how? Why with them? Okay, so what's your question, Faisal? Why must monitor our head progress? Why of your C3? So what's your answer, Faisal? Reduce risk from getting sickness. Reduce risk from getting sickness. All right, from getting sickness. Good job, Faisal. Okay, now, Tivia, you, do you think that mm -hmm. students will be able to think of this mm -hmm. without having the growing process? They Might would, be a bit difficult. They yeah. would never have thought to write this mm -hmm. if they yes. wouldn't grow the seeds. Correct. Right? So the C so, helps them exactly. with the elaboration. So now, we have come to the last one, the last sentence, that is C. So mm -hmm. look at my finger, guys. Look at my finger. So C is the so what of C1 because you have to un mm -hmm. what you have started. So this was how you started. Mm -hmm. So it is so what of increased new health behavior. So who wants to give it a shot? What will happen? Right. What will happen? The final sentence. One. What will happen if you increase new health behavior? What will happen? Madam, can I try? Okay, Hasif. So what will happen, Hasif, if you can increase new health behavior to stay fit and healthy, what will happen to you? My VA is has my blowing benefit. Exactly. So has my has. blowing benefit. So okay. that wraps up the mm -hmm. whole draft before you come up with your one paragraph. Okay. Good job, guys. G double O D J O B. Good, good job. job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Good job. Okay, All right. TV. All right. With that, I'm sure teacher, you know, madam has thoroughly explained to us the how to write the paragraph from V1 to C1, uh, E1, and it was very much, you know, very clear even for me, I would say. So, people at home, take note as much as you could, and we'll come back to understand more about speaking and writing and many more together with teacher Fire Lisa. We'll be back. <laughs> Didik TV KPM People at home, we are back at the final segment today. Understanding, speaking and learning together with teacher Fariza all the way from Kelantan. Hello teacher, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, today we are looking at Success SPM 2022 for English language, particularly speaking about dare to speak, but also additionally writing and uh, some of the additional pointers to excel your English language. So exactly. over to you teacher. Thank you, Tivia. All right, welcome back, guys. So this is our final segment. So our final segment will be focusing on our writing, yeah, mm -hmm. where we are going to ask our friends here to construct five sentences in one paragraph. Okay. Okay, so look at this, girls and boys. We are going to produce one paragraph with five sentences, right? I'm a very technical kind of person, so it takes only six to seven minutes, roughly, Tivia, uh -huh. to produce one paragraph. Okay. All right, so let us begin our discussions. Fasten your seatbelts, and the journey begins now. All right, now, let's so go. look at this um, descriptions here, guys. So I have a formula for you to digest. And remember this forever. Mm -hmm. So look at the first sentence, topic sentence. T, where you're going to begin with your LE, language expressions. Idea from the question. Remember the questions that we had earlier? Mm -hmm. So the questions, you have to start with the words and to begin your sentence. For topic sentence, you must have three VAs. Remember just now? Mm -hmm. VA plus VA plus VA. But the second sentence, example, you have to begin with CD and idea from questions. And you can just read the screen and the floor is yours for you to digest everything. Okay. So all in will be five sentences, Tivia. Mm -hmm. But and remember, that will make a paragraph. Yes, the C skill. Okay. So you do this, Tivia, do that. Do that. So this is your C skill, guys. Do that on screen. So if you see this C, C this scale. will be your standard length of one paragraph. Put it on your paper. So are you able to get at least this length? If you can get that, you are on the right track. Okay. okay. So now, let us 
ask our friends here mm -hmm. to share us their sentence. But before that, let me share you one example of how you construct your ideas becoming a sentence. Okay. So very quickly, this was our three answers. The, these were our three answers just now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how would we probably construct a sentence? Mm -hmm. So this is your C1, that is your C2, C2. and C3. So mm -hmm. what happens next if you construct your sentence? This is what happens. Going ah. to Genting Highland allows me, where did you get that from? So this was taken from the question, idea from the question, remember? Yes. Why do I go for a holiday? To treasure my quality time. What colour is that? That is your, yellow. <coughs> excuse me, that will be your yellow colour. Mm -hmm. And the next one we had green. Mm -hmm. We can create positive memories together. And the last one was your yellow colour. And did you see the two highlighted bold black colour words there? Mm -hmm. Those indicate your linking words and your sentence connectors. Okay. So that will be one example of your topic sentence. Okay. So let me just give you an example of your C now. Mm -hmm. So C1 and that is your E1. So how would you write mm -hmm. that in your sentence? Plus VA, Tivia. Yep. Plus VA, you have to add it on spontaneously. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is your sentence. The truth is that, that mm -hmm. is your LE people, mm -hmm. the truth is that it does not only allow me to treasure them. Where did you get that from? You got it from the question, but you rephrase them a little bit, of mm -hmm. course. All right. But I can also reward myself despite being the best booster for me before the school session begins. Mm -hmm. So can you see the yellow color there? That was added spontaneously. All right. Mm -hmm. So guys, are you ready? I want everybody to please shout out loud. We are ready, madam. Pupils, are we ready? We are ready, we are ready madam. <laughs> okay. All right, All right. let's go. Okay. So now I want you to show me your sentence because just now during the commercial break, I told them to write their sentence on the spot, having okay. the keywords that they generated earlier. Okay, let's so, see. So, girls and boys, let us begin. I want to see your topic sentence that we had three here just now, remember. Yes. So, who wants to give it a shot? Your topic sentence, but show me your sentence. Who wants to give it a try? People? Then can I try? Okay, Faisal, your topic sentence. Show it to me, Faisal. What have you written? Okay, so he started this with is one sentence, personally believe. Okay, read it out. Read it out, Faisal. Personally, I believe that the benefits of staying fit and healthy is increased new health behavior and can allow new ways of diet. All right. Oh, so Faisal had only two colors. All right. Okay. Still good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let us look at the second sentence. Now, who wants to give it a shot? Anyone? Madam, can ideal. I try? All right, ideal. So, ideal has to start with cohesive device, guys. Mm -hmm. So, what cohesive device will be his choice? Over to you, ideal. Besides that, we can increase new health behavior because it develops positive habits and it is invaluable for a healthy body. Good job. So he started with besides that and he added is invaluable. Good job, ideal. So let's go to the third sentence. Anyone in the house? Over to you. Peoples? Madam, can I give a shot? All right. Yes. Over Ayman. to you. So this has to begin with language expressions. All right. Read it out, Ayman. The fact is that the we is can important. allow way of diet by choosing low-fat dairy product and limit sugar added. Drinks. Okay, okay that's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that was your third sentence. Mm -hmm. Now, how about the fourth sentence? Anyone? Anyone in the house? Fourth sentence and it needs Madam. to begin. Yes. Alright, Hasib, your sentence should begin with cohesive device, Hasib. Okay, besides that, that's good. Read it out, Hasif. I think it's like that we must monitor our health progress by reducing the risk from getting sickness and control our sugar craving. Control yes. our sugar craving was what he added spontaneously. Mm -hmm. And we have come to the last sentence, conclude. Yeah, so who wants to give it a shot? Anyone, but the law conclusion begins with language expressions. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Pupils, anyone wants to conclude the paragraph? Who's ready? 
Anyone? Anyone wants to give it a shot? Okay, There's I think a, we're having technical yeah, issues. Yeah, I there. think it's some technical right. issue. Probably well, we can come up with okay, a conclusion. So this will be the final conclude. So mm -hmm. let me begin. So um, the fact is that mm -hmm. by increasing new health behavior, we will have mind-blowing benefit benefits on creating a healthy lifestyle, lifestyle to a better future. Yes, so that you is go. how you wrap up the whole yes. paragraph. Mm -hmm. And you will definitely get your C skill measurement and your A will Coming come to you, to you <laughs> in no time. Yes. Good job, guys. G double O D J O B. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Okay, All right. Thank you so much, Teacher Faraliza. I'm sure the pupils at home and uh, people who joined us virtually as well, they understood, you know, speaking and writing assessment and uh, understood how English language for them is going to be, you know, helping them with their uh, marks in exam as well. I'm sure you are six weeks away, you know, very near to SPM. And anything else you would like to add on, Teacher, just to conclude? All right, so girls and boys, viewers out there, thanks to SMK Chikudua, Gua Musang Kelantan, thanks to SMK Bandar Mas Kota Tinggi, but my heart goes out all to the SPM candidates 2022. Mm -hmm. Remember, you change your future. It's unbelievable for you to be able to speak and write, but it's true. You can change your future. I wish you all, all right. the best of luck. And see you when I see you guys. All right. Bye. Thank you so much, teacher. <laughs> and people at home, please stay healthy, stay fit, you know, active for the exams as well. And all the best. And until then, we'll uh, meet you some other time. This is Stevia signing off at D Day TV KPM Success SPM 2022 for English language. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. See you when I see you.